Hello again and welcome to David and Lisa's Extraordinary Ordinary People and Places uh, short films here on YouTube. And here's something really different. And you'll see, you'll begin to see here our love of boating. And um, what better way to spend a Sunday afternoon than cruising down a canal on a lovely barge called the Blue Swan. We, we went on an afternoon tea cruise. Um, it was a group on offer and we had such an amazing afternoon. Now look, excuse my filming on the, on the canal barge because it's awful, but just hang on in there and wait until we get to the part of the film where I join in conversation with Lee, who was um, looking after the boat for, for the day. It truly was amazing. Yeah, it's a really, really great interview, so tune in and watch. Um, you'll just see Lee's enthusiasm and the family run boat is just just amazing. The two girls working on board really looked after us. Should we should we watch it now? Yeah, okay. Blushed out here. It's a bit cold and a bit breezy. Here at uh, Castle and um, our barge is just behind us. We're just about to get on and have a lovely afternoon tea, which we're quite ready for. Breakfast was a long time ago. <laughs> Should be I'm hoping they've got some nice cakes and tea on board. Yeah, it's good. Breezy day. It's due to go dark quite soon, so we're taking advantage of the light, and uh, we'll see what film we can get to, uh, as it as it starts to go dark. Um, but we'll get some nice nice images whilst we're on board. Yeah, it'd be nice if we can have a conversation with the the owner and find out kind of where his inspiration or her inspiration came from. Yeah, yeah, they seem quite friendly people, so hopefully we'll be able to have a chat. Yeah, well, there's a lot of laughing going on. Well, they're laughing. Yeah, they're all right. See you later. Bye. 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 Let me take about an hour trying to come back. Right. Oh, it's really cold. Yeah. Yeah. So, it needs to be higher. Probably. That's it. So, here we are on board the barge. It's a little bit warmer um, and less windy. And um, we have these sandwiches and cakes which we're about to attack. And it should, we should have about another 45 minutes of daylight, so um, it's nice to explore a new area by boat. A little bit rocky, a little bit blustery today, um, so we'll join you later in the cruise. Do you know what? It's, it's really good. <laughs> Them cakes, uh. See you later. So we're um, in a place called Haskane now, and I'm with Lee. Hello. Hey, Lee. <laughs> Lee's the steersman, the tillerman. Um, we're not in cybernetics though. We're actually on a on the narrowboat. And who else have we got here? Robin. Hello, Robin. And who's this? Jess. Jess. We're the waitresses. The waitresses. So tell me the story of this um, of this canal boat. What do you know? Oh, made in it's 2008. Yeah, he's, he's best to tell you. Yeah, go on, Lee. What's it's the made story? Made in 2008. Yeah. Uh, refurbished this year in May after an arson attack. Really? When it first go off. Okay. Yeah, it was cut in half and then we extended it to 45 foot. Wow. Seats 12 people, 45 foot long, 7.5 foot wide, 17 tons. It's got a 3.2 canal line engine. What do you enjoy? <laughs> yeah. Listen, you're yeah. all very interested, but what do you enjoy most about this sort of stuff? Meeting people. Yeah. Giving people that lovely canal experience where all the heritage comes from. But this what, is, what heritage you're is a thing, isn't it? Very much so. We were at um, uh, Stonyhurst yesterday and there was a vintage, a pop-up vintage cafe. Oh, and um, it seems to be the whole thing, heritage and vintage. Yeah, very much so. I mean, this is the M1 of its time. This was uh, built in 1770, took 46 years to complete. You can see the Britain's yeah. biggest engineering achievement. Britain's biggest engineering achievement. Yeah. Liverpool to Leeds. Leeds Canal. 487 foot summit. Took 40 years to come across the Pennines alone. It's the widest canal in Britain. It's the rarest canal in Britain. Coincides with the French Revolution. Where the Irish navvies, uh, when they didn't get paid in 1792 after long boat, and pumped all his money into local warehousing. They uh, fled across to France to fight for the French rebels. And the English government in 1794 paid for them to come back and complete the canal. Wow. That's heritage, isn't it? Wow. But they actually ran cattle along this to flatten the clay. That's um, that, the Irish Navy is a story in itself, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, it is. A yeah. story in itself. Dug by hand. 127 miles and a quarter in length. 
Britain's longest canal. It was the last working canal in Britain, was put out by the actual lorry, not the steam train, in, in the 1970s, whereas every other canal was put out in the 1930s. This was still working in the 70s? Yeah, 70s. It's still Taking working today. Coal? Yeah, it's still yeah. working. Actually, yeah, it's still yeah. working today. It's still got coal. some fly bolts on it working at the moment, which is the ambush. And that uh, runs fuel up and down the canal to the barges who live on the cock full time. Delivers coal and diesel. Yeah, it's, quite a few, it's quite an interesting canal, really, so. What do you enjoy most? <laughs> wow wow Lee just fabulous that was such a fantastic interview and such a great guy I mean who'd have thought you'd have got a history lesson about the history of the canal um, the bit about the Irish navvies and them going to join the fighting the French Revolution um, and listen if you'd go um, down below I've put links to some some um, bits of history there for those who are interested and also for those of you who just want to go on the canal cruise how to book but um, yeah oh, one more thing sorry um, Poppy tells me that I have to ask you to subscribe and um, to like and also to make some comments about um, where we might go and next and who we might visit next but we've got something lined up for this Friday haven't we yeah, we're going to see our favourite band, Bellowhead, oh, um, at the start of their winter tour and they kick off in Halifax on Friday night and we will be there with some very good friends, Peter and Yvonne. Looking forward to that. Very much so, very much so. Okay, stay tuned and we'll, we'll catch up soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.